Hello and welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to solve calculations related to limiting reactant and excess reactant. Limiting reactants are those reactants that are consumed during a chemical reaction, while excess reactants are those reactants that remains at the end of a chemical reaction. So you do not use them up. This question says, how much ammonia is produced when 3.5 gram of nitrogen gas reacts with 4.76 grams of hydrogen gas according to the following balanced chemical reaction? To solve this type of question, the first thing you have to figure out is which of these reactants is your limiting reactant, because a limiting reactant will limit the amount of products that will be produced. But they gave us two values, which means that we have nitrogen, we have hydrogen, and we do not know which one of these reactants is the limiting reactant. So the easiest way to go about this is use each of the reactants to solve for the mass of ammonia. The one that gives you the smaller mass is the limiting reactant. And that smaller mass is what you report as the mass or grams of ammonia produced. So start with 3.5 grams of nitrogen gas. And the next step is to convert these grams to moles. And to do that, you need the molar mass of nitrogen. To calculate the molar mass, all you need to do is nitrogen has a mass of 14.01. Since you have two, it's diatomic, so multiply it by two. This is going to end up giving us 28.02 grams per mole. Okay. Now, note how it is grams per mole. You need the mole on top. So what you do is turn it the other way around. So I'm going to put the one mole on top. This is the same as saying one mole. Okay. The one mole on top and the grams below. So because I want the moles, the mole goes on top and the gram stays under. Therefore, you can then go ahead and cancel out these two grams and what you have here would then be the most of nitrogen. That is the first step. The second step would then be using the stoichiometric relationship, which means that here you have one mole of nitrogen against two moles of ammonia. The two moles of ammonia would stay on top and you would have one mole nitrogen below. The reason is you want these two opposites so they can cancel out. Now you have moles of ammonia. The next step will then be to multiply this by the molar mass of ammonia. So to do this molar mass of ammonia, we have nitrogen, that is just one. In ammonia, you have one nitrogen. Now note, we do not consider the coefficient when solving for the molar mass, okay? You're looking at just this NH3. That's the chemical formula. So the 14.01 times 1 gives us the same. Now hydrogen, we have three of them. So 3 times 1.008, which is the mass of hydrogen. That is going to give us 3.024. Now add this here and this. Add them together. That will end up giving us 17.034. And that is again grams per mole. Okay. So because we want the grams, you're going to leave it exactly how it is. You just have 17.034 grams of ammonia over one mole ammonia. The moles ammonia would then cancel out, and this gives us the grams. So the next step would then be to calculate. You have 3.5 times 1 times 2 times 17.034. That divide by 28.02. This gives us a 4.26 grams approximately of ammonia. So we're done with this one. The next thing we do would be to calculate the mass of ammonia using this other value, okay? So you have 4.76 grams of hydrogen this time. Then multiply, 
you need the molar mass of hydrogen. Hydrogen is 1.008. Multiply that by 2. That gives us, because of course it's diatomic, that gives us a 2.016 grams per mole. Again, we want the moles. Put the mole, one mole on top, and the grams, 2.016 grams under. The grams here we cancel out and go ahead and compare the stoichiometric relationship. Hydrogen is three moles. Here you have two moles. So the two moles ammonia would go on top because that's what we're trying to find, right? So that stays on top. And the hydrogen would be down here. The more hydrogens will cancel out. You have your more ammonia remaining, but we want the grams. Okay, you want the grams. So now I will multiply this by the molar mass of ammonia, which we already have, is the same as this. So that will just go on top because we want it in grams. So you want the grams to stay on top. So this would be 17.034 grams ammonia over one mole because molar mass is grams per mole. Okay. The moles is coming from the molar mass. Now these moles we cancel. And again, we do the calculation. So you have this time 4.76 multiplied by two by 17.034 divided that by open parenthesis 2.016 times three, close your parenthesis. And that gives you 26.8 grams ammonia. Now, based on this calculation from the nitrogen, we have 4.26 grams, okay? And then coming down here, we have 26.8 grams. Because this gives us the small grams of ammonia, the limiting reactant is going to be nitrogen, okay? So nitrogen is your limiting reactant. Why hydrogen is the excess reactant. And because nitrogen is a limiting reactant, and I told you earlier, the limiting reactant limits the amount of products that are formed. Therefore, the grams of ammonia that you would have to report is 4.26 grams ammonia and not this one. So finally, you are just going to see 4.26 grams ammonia was produced or is produced as the case may be, okay? And that is it. The next question that comes under this is how much of the excess reactant remained? So we said that nitrogen was our limiting reactant. That gave us a smaller amount of the ammonia, right? Why? The excess reactant is hydrogen. Now, remember I said that excess reactants are those reactants that remains, okay, at the end of a reaction or during a chemical reaction, which means that we do not use them up. How much of this 4.76 grams remained? Because definitely if hydrogen was the excess reactant, not all of this 4.76 grams was used up. So we want to find out how much of that was used and how much is remaining. The, your limiting reactant limits every other thing that happens in that reaction. So you're going to make use of the nitrogen value to do the calculation. So we start with the 3.5 grams of nitrogen gas. Now, when we did the molar mass, we got 28.02. The one mole goes on top and your grams will be under here. Next step is you're going to now compare the mole ratio of hydrogen and nitrogen this time, not ammonia, because you're trying to find how much of the hydrogen was used. So I'm going to say three moles of hydrogen on top against one mole of nitrogen down here. The grams, grams here will cancel the mole and mole here will cancel. You have moles of hydrogen. But in order to figure out how much was remaining, you need that in grams because the value they gave us for hydrogen was in grams. So that means that the next step will be to multiply by the molar mass of hydrogen. We calculated that before, 1.008 times two, that gave us 2.016 grams per mole of hydrogen. So you have it this way. 
Now, the most hydrogen we cancel, and what we have here, if we do the calculation, we have 3.5 times 3 times 2.016, and that divided by 28.02. So you will have 0 0.755 grams of hydrogen. Now, this value you have here is what was used. Okay? So the excess or what was remaining would be equals to this value that was given to us originally, the 4.76 grams minus this one that was used, which is 0 0.755 grams of hydrogen. And that will end up giving us 4, 4.005, okay, grams. So this is what was remaining. I hope this video has helped you to understand how to do limiting and excess reactant calculations. Do have a wonderful day. Bye. Thanks for watching.